two access cam manufacturing processes CNC lathe design. A lathe is a machine that rotates the workpiece on its axis to perform various operations such as cutting, sanding, knurling, drilling, or deformation in face and turning with tools that are applied to the workpiece to create an object with symmetry about an axis of rotation. CNC is the advent to lathe operation which is the automation of machine tools that are operated by precisely programmed commands encoded onto a storage medium, a computer command module, as opposed to controlled manually by hand wheels or levers or mechanically automated by cams alone. This mode gives a broad range of industrial processes that alter the surface of a manufactured item to achieve certain properties that may be improved appearance, adhesion or wettability, solderability, corrosion resistance, tarnish resistance, chemical resistance, wear resistance, hardness, modifying electrical conductivity, removing burrs and other surface flaws, controlling the surface friction, or a restore, salvage, or repair an item. CNC lathes come in a wide variety of configurations, but for this tutorial we will stick with the most common setup with two axes. This uses a Z-axis which is parallel to the spindle axis and an X-axis which is at the right angle to the spindle. In this tutorial we will manufacture a setup to turn a queen's chess piece. To begin we have our lathe setup created with our chuck workpiece in stock imported within the lathe setup assembly, and we can enter into manufacturing mode which we will create a cam general configuration with a setup to turning operations. Proceeding to the programs orders group, I have created three program groups by selecting the unused items folder, right clicking and inserting the program group as a turning type and giving it appropriate names for the roughing and finishing operations. Within the machine tool navigator, I have created a carrier with three pockets that we will be importing within the 12 tool CNC's turret by selecting the unused items program group and inserting tool subtype of carrier and within the carrier pockets with corresponding values. Within the geometries navigator, I have already positioned my MCS to be aligned with my WCS and I have assigned my part blank, which is the stock and the check, which is the check assembly. Now that our machining coordinate system is set up appropriately and our workpiece parameters have been assigned, then the turning workpiece will automatically generate the part boundaries and blank boundaries for manufacture. By displaying the part boundaries, we are able to see the line of the top periphery of this component, and by displaying the blank, we are able to see the outline of the cylinder. And we are now able to select the turning workpiece, right click, and insert geometry, which will be a turning type for avoidance to set the operation's non cutting movement automatically. We are also able to create a containment subtype to automate the cut regions, but we will do so directly in the operations where we are also able to customize any avoidance within the operations also. We will specify our from point with an inferred point to create the starting position for the tools. We will create the motion to the start point as a direct motion type, slightly closer to the workpiece, which is where the machine's control will switch out of rapid mode, G00 mode. And we will create the motion to go home as a radial to axial motion type, so that our tool will have no issues with the clearance returning to the home position. which we will assign towards the back of the workpiece and accept the avoidance parameters. We are now ready to start creating our operations within the avoidance geometry we have just created. We will start with a facing operation within the roughing program group utilizing the large outer diameter turning tool within the avoidance geometry subtype and a lathe roughing method. We will now set our cut regions to create a axial point to stop the toolpath from going beyond the workpiece. and the automatic generation for the radial trim plane will work perfectly for this operation. We are now able to change the step over and any type of cutting parameters, but we will leave them default. We have already set our non-cutting moves within the avoidance geometry. We can optimize our feeds and speed, but we will generate to see the results and continue on to create our next operation which will be an outer diameter finish turning operation within the finishing program group utilizing the grooving tool inside of the avoidance geometry and using a lathe finish method. We will specify the cut regions as the facing 
parameters. And we are then able to change any cutting parameters or stepovers that are necessary. We've already set the non-cutting moves, and we could op optimize the feeds and speeds. Now we can create our part off operation. Within the finishing group, utilizing the part off tool with the avoidance geometry and a lathe finish method. And we can leave the settings default and generate the operation. Now verifying the results. And we can analyze the leftover material by selecting any point we would desire, which we are getting a 30 thousandths of a millimeter tolerance, approximately. Now we are ready for machine retrieval. We will enter into the Machine Tools Navigator, highlight the generic machine, edit, and retrieve the machine from library as a lathe with a Fanuc 2 access turn horizontal lathe, and specify our part mount junction. We are now able to edit the tools mounting from our tool carrier to the tool carrier's turret by selecting our tool and pocket and replacing the pockets. And now we can see that our turret has been updated with our appropriate tools and operations. Now NX has issues mounting the tools onto the turret appropriately to edit these parameters. We would edit the tools parameters by selecting and editing and going to the more tab and we are able to change the X and Y position mounting for each of the tools on each pocket. The tools are automatically placed underneath the pockets for a mount to be placed in to correspond with the machine. I have manually modeled in three holders to mount the tools appropriately. Now that the tools in the machine's position is set up appropriately, we are able to simulate the machine's operations. Using a 3D material removal method and press and play. We are now able to post-process the G-code and import it into the 12-tool CNC machine to manufacture, and that concludes our two-access CNC lathe tutorial.